Hypophosphatasia, also known as HPP, is a metabolic bone disease. So basically, the body is deficient in an enzyme called alkaline phosphatase, and that's due to a mutation in the ALP gene. And what happens is, because the body can't metabolize, um, the body can't use um, things like calcium and phosphorus that you would get through food or through um, traditional sunlight, um, like vitamin D, the body can't process that correctly and deposit it into the bone. So what happens is the calcium phosphorus get excreted through the kidney and the bones end up not getting the calcium they need, so they're soft. Well, there's a lot of education that needs to be done around hypophosphatasia. A lot of people are not aware of it and it's something that is apparent on a simple blood test. If you have just a regular blood test done, the ALP level is on there and if it's low, that's an indicator of hypophosphatasia and you need to have some more tests done. So I think that just making people more aware that low levels are just as important as high levels. People tend to look at the higher levels and think of things like Paget's disease or other types of bone conditions, but even on the labs themselves, um, it'll say low doesn't mean anything. They'll get flagged, but it doesn't give you any kind of indication of what to look for. So really just understanding alkaline phosphatase, its role in the body, um, that low levels indicate potentially hypophosphatasia is a huge uh, initiative and something that we're looking to really raise awareness around because we really believe that this disease may be rare, but it's not as rare as we think. There's a lot of patients who have things like fibromyalgia or have been diagnosed as having rickets or other conditions that if you look at their ALP, even osteoporosis, if you look at people who have osteoporosis and have a low ALP, they may have hypophosphatasia. And there's some treatments for osteoporosis that are really, really bad for people who have hypophosphatasia. So making sure that people are aware of it and getting the proper treatment is critical to a future of success. I think that um, a lot of physicians just need to take the time to look when things are flagged and just do a little bit more research. Uh, my whole life, I'm, I'm a carrier for hypophosphatasia, and my ALP has been flagged on every blood test I've ever had in my whole life, and nobody has ever said anything to me about it. And knowing that, um, you know, when I got married and my at the time husband, he also had low ALP, we never thought anything of it. And then, um, you know, the genetic uh, gods that be, you know, we, we had a child and this happened. And we, there were clear signs that we could have been aware of and maybe we would have chosen a different course for having a child or made a, a different decision, but we had no knowledge of it. So in hindsight, um, you know, having that information, knowing that I'm a carrier, knowing that I have low ALP would have been a really important piece of information to have ahead of time.